Hi everyone, this is Willis, Kiwi Scrapper from New Zealand and I'm here to share a project with you today that um, well you can see it's a, it's a chocolate box it's Hershey's Pot of Gold premium collection of truffles, nut clusters, caramels and other fine confections and they were yummy with a capital Y um, and these were sent over to me for my birthday in 2011 um, from a daughter-in-law in America. I've got two daughter-in-laws in America and one of them sent me this um, along with another present. So um, because the box was a lovely heart shape I kept it and I always wanted, thought in my mind that I would do something with it one day but I was never quite sure what I'd do. Um, so I finally got out of the cupboard at the weekend and made a go. Uh, um, started off on it. Um, because as some of you will know I've got an injured wrist to, um, so I decided that I would um, you know I can't do a lot of stuff I can't do more complicated stuff so I decided that I'd work on this and this is what I come up with I had to get David to hold a few things in place while I was gluing um, but you know otherwise I was able to actually trace I used the box itself as the template for tracing the heart out onto the paper I'd chosen and then that became the background because the whole box was pink and it was sort of like a shiny pink um, so I chose this one with tiny script on it and as soon as I put it on um, David said oh that looks elegant so it, it's amazing what you know even a bit of paper will do to a project without doing anything else um, the, you know the right paper and then I used this um, this image that I had and I've had for some months um, I was I was going to frame it but I thought this is look, you know this is much better and it'll look absolutely perfect on this and as you can see it's two angels one's playing a half and one's the one at the back is playing a triangle and um, and they've got lovely glittered wings the one at the front is sort of in a very very pale blue and the one at the back is in a very very pale pink probably more like cream than pink but the one at the front is definitely a, a very very pale blue so then um, I framed around it using this lovely um, beautiful lace trim um, that came in a um, my prize winning as part of my prize winnings from Irene you know, seriously scrapping in Australia and then I just started to embellish it. I didn't want anything that's going to, you know, really be large and sticking up a lot because the box itself is only just over an inch high, maybe an inch and a quarter high in depth. So, you know, I thought it would be out of proportion if I started putting a whole pile of, you know, lovely big billowing, can't really glue string there, big billowing flowers and roses and stuff. And, you know, I just wanted it more flat. Um, so this and this dainty flower here um, or the dainty trim rather they came in the lovely surprise wrap that I got from Christine and she's in Australia as well thank you Christine and thank you Irene um, and this here was a, was a piece of lace trim that she sent I just cut off the fan shape and this also was a length of about, probably about a metre it was lovely of, of trim, cotton trim, and I and daisies or flowers, and I just cut each one separately. And there's, there's this one here. It's just, and the, it's the base of all these ones here, um, and the base of that. So they came in the base of all these. So they came in very very handy. Um, and I just put centers, this flat back pearls here, little tiny little gorgeous ceramic cream roses, and I've put them here as well. These. This one has got the fa look, cream fabric um, roses on, the small ones, and they came from Christine as well. This lovely organza flower came from Christine. The little mulberry paper came from Irene. And then there's that one from Christine as well. A little vintage button on it. This beautiful cream, um, it's, uh, it's not crochet, but it's a lovely cotton lace um, flower piece that came from Christine as well in, in that lovely rack and that um, yes I told you about that one and 
there's just various flat back pearls here and um, vintage buttons. The little butterfly, they came from Christine in that rack. In a, there was a, str um, a string of them, you know, like a, it was in a strip. So I just cut three off there. Uh, let me think what else. I think that's about it. Oh, this pearl scroll, two separate pearl scrolls, they're out of my stash. Um, there was a lovely one in Christine's, it was just a bit big for this, so I used one of my own. And there's just little tiny bits of bling here to go with this colouring. And then around the edges I put um, a cream lace, gathered lace trim, which I got off, um, got out of a local craft shop. And if I'd had both hands, I intended to put another one, narrower one, just here. But it was it was hard enough putting that one on, having to use my elbow <laughs> of my left hand um, to hold the box in place while I went around, because David was at work. Um, and then he wanted to come home and, you know, get some things done like cooking, which I can't do at the moment very well. So I haven't been able to manage to put that one on. And this is a... Um, two separate wide open craft sprays and they come in a long straight piece and I just doubled them up and bound them at the ends and glued them in place. And this box is just um, on a little bow up the top there and there's flat back pearls. That's a trim that I, it was pink, pale pink and I dyed it in tea um, and put the, the smaller flat back pearls all along here and a little grow grain ribbon up there. And then in, I, this box is just going to be kept. I painted in here and cream and stuff. It's just going to be kept for putting some of these um, embellishments that I use, you know, resin embellishments. I've got a lot more to put in yet when I find them. I'll dig them out. And as I say, the box was a bright sort of glossy pink, so it's all been painted underneath. You can see it's been painted in cream. Um, I didn't do the, the bottom of it. I purposefully left that so that you know people could see it was a chocolate box. I will cover it with a piece of paper. Not the same as this. I might use a different one because I only had one sheet of that, and that was a 12 by 12. So you know it's a big, it's quite a large box because you know you can see my hand. It's quite a large box. Anyway, um, I hope you like it. I'm a bit limited to what I can do at the present time, but um, yeah. I'm, I'm managing to do some things, so I, I, I was actually quite pleased. That turned out quite well. And I must show you this. I picked this up for $2.50 um, when I went in for some x-rays on Monday, um, just down the road from the shop, from the from where the x-rays are taken. <laughs> just down the road from where the building where the x-rays are, the radiology department, sorry, um, there's a, what you call a thrift shop, op shop here. And I just popped in there on the way back to the car because I was walking and um, I spotted this and I grabbed it before anybody else could grab it. $2.50 and it, it had a lot of white and lace embellishments just here and flowers and stuff so I took them all off. But I can see that that was going to, um, that's going to be a nice little project. Yeah, I can set something in the back there or something nice. And then I rediscovered this. This was given to me um, by a doll group I belong to, which I haven't attended for a couple of years because it's like two and a half hours drive to even get there. So it's like the petrol's gone up so much I don't go very often now. Um, but we had a, um, a little birthday bash one year and we all exchanged presents and somebody gave me this one. And it's really sweet. I, I won't cover the picture up but um, and it sort of, the lid comes off and inside there's a little miniature, um, you know, tea set with little saucers and I think there's a little, oh it's not a little teapot, there's a little jug. Yeah, actually it shows a teapot being poured but there's actually not a teapot. But um, anyway, I thought that would be fun to, to alter. Hmm. Okay, well, oh, just last but not least, yeah, I'm not sure that I've already showed you this. My little bird cage, which I picked up from a pharmacy um, for something like six dollars, six dollars fifty, and I picked that up before Christmas actually. Had a little candle in here, which I've taken out, and I'm. I I know in my mind what I want to do with that. I may not be able to do it just at the present time, but it'll get done. 
Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.